I am in my uh, in my living room. It's the closest room to my router, so I always know I have good Wi-Fi because that's obviously very important to do something like this. Um, and it's also kind of the biggest space that I have. I have a full garage gym setup, but Wi-Fi is not great in there, so I'd rather I'd rather do it in here. So you may see uh, whoever's on this right now. You may see some some kids' uh, toys and things. I try to clean up the best I can. I have my daughter's balance beam here right underneath me. So you never know what will, uh, what will pop up. All right, so we'll get started. So thank you all for coming and attending. This is gonna be about blood flow and circulation because if there's two things we can all agree on, it's that bringing blood flow and circulation to our bodies, no matter what time of day, especially in the middle of the day right now, will reap its benefits and will make us just happier overall. So what I want to do is, I just want to start with the hands and the wrist and the fingers. And, and we have a couple more coming on, so I'm glad I waited another minute. So I want you to just press the back of the uh, hands together. Just take a couple deep breaths. I'm going to be focusing on some breathing as well, where it's just the old traditional in through your nose and out through your mouth and pressing the back of the hands hard enough so you feel maybe a slight little, slight little stretch. Um, it could be in your wrist, maybe it could be in your forearms, maybe in your fingers. And now just wiggle your fingers around a little bit like you are uh, like you have your hands in a, a Halloween potion and you're stirring it all around. And just continue those nice controlled deep breaths. And now I want you to keep the back of your wrist together, but I want you to coil and uncoil. So it's here, here. So we're getting some shoulder action in some wrist action, reach, come under, reach, come under. Continue that nice deep breathing, nose, mouth. And one thing I've learned from some very smart individuals that I've studied is everything we do movement wise can be an assessment and every assessment that we do could be an exercise so as you're doing this no hey my right wrist is a little cranky my uh my elbow uh, is you know i feel it a little bit in, the, in this particular elbow so just kind of do an assessment of yourself kind of just shake that out and you could be pretty aggressive um you know and you can use that as a relative term just kind of shake out the wrist the fingers now we're just gonna make some simple shoulder circles. I want you to keep one shoulder locked down. Big reach, turn, stop, and then reverse the circle. I want you to imagine, I put a magic marker on your palm, and I want you to make the biggest circle you can. Whatever side you chose, keep going with that. Keep that breathing pattern going, reaching. Trying not to let too much help you in regards to trying not to let the head move too much, the shoulder, the opposite shoulder move too much. Just keep reaching. Can you at least feel like you're increasing the circle or trying to make the circle bigger every time? Obviously staying out of any painful positions. We'll get one more. And then I'll give you one guess what we're gonna do next. The other shoulder, I know, it's crazy. I sat up all night thinking about this. Reach, and then come back. Simplicity is sophistication sometimes. Big reach, every exercise is an assessment. So as you're doing this, hmm, this shoulder feels a little different than the other shoulder. This shoulder, I get bigger range of motion. I get smaller range of motion. I'm, I'm hearing some crickling and crackling when I do this. And just take that mental inventory of your body, reaching through, putting that magic marker on your palm, and just draw on the circle. Like there's a wall right next to you and you're just cleaning the wall. Continue that nice controlled breathing. get one more I'm gonna come back 
So if you would like, you can hold on to something. We're gonna do the same thing with the hip. If you don't wanna hold on to anything or don't feel like you need to, that's okay. And you're just gonna make a circle with your hip. And then make the circle. If you feel like you can make a bigger circle by holding on to something, then hold on to something. I'm just gonna show you without holding on to anything. So now the magic marker is on your knee. And I want you to make the biggest circle you can with that knee. And obviously, as you're noticing, you need a little bit of balance too. So just keep that going and just do the best you can. It's not about keeping your balance. Oh, I lost my balance. No big deal. It's all good. It's also a test of how well you stabilize on that one leg. Everyone get one more and then just switch sides, switch the other leg. There's a good chance, because I haven't told you which side to start with, even though you may be mirroring me, that you probably started with your better side, right? This is my good side. We don't, as we get older, we don't refer to our body parts as left and right anymore. We refer to our body parts as, this is my good knee. This is my bad side. This is my good shoulder. This is my bad shoulder. So let's try to do some stuff where we have a good left and right side. Notice the balance, if anything changes, Anything's different side to side. If you have to hold on to something, you can. We'll get one more. So you're either gonna walk or give me a little jog. Now I'm opposite of you right now. So when I say left and I turn left, it may be your right. But when I say left, you turn to your left. So it's if I say left, it's left and then back to center. When I say right, it's right, back to center. Just listen for the left or right. So just give me a little, a walk or a jog. Left, back to center. Left, back to center. Right. Back to center. Right. Back to center. Left. Center. Right. Center. Right. Center. Right. Center. And relax. If you have water, take a sip of water. If not, make sure you have water right after we're done. When was the last time you played head, shoulders, knees, and toes? We're gonna do the same thing here. When I say head, you touch your head. When I say shoulders, shoulders. When I say knees, when I say toes. Everybody give me a run in place or a walk in place. I'll start easy. Head. Toes. Head. Shoulders. Shoulders. Knees, feet, I could say feet, I could say toes, head, shoulders, knees, toes, head, shoulders, knees, toes, one more time, head, shoulders, knees, toes, and relax. All right, we're gonna finish off with some irradiation. I want you to make two fists. Put something very important in your hands right now. Don't let it go no matter what. Two strong fists. Feel yourself grounded and rooted into the floor. Now I want you to tighten up your biceps and your triceps right now. Like you're making a muscle, like you're posing and flexing. Now squeeze your shoulders. Tighten your shoulders. Now try to squeeze your lats. Like try to flare your back out right now. Like you're once again flexing. Squeeze everything you got. Now squeeze your core like I'm about to jump through the computer and punch you in the stomach as hard as you can. Brace, tighten up. Now squeeze the front of your thighs, hard. Make a muscle with your thighs. Now squeeze your butt as hard as you can. Squeeze, squeeze the cheeks. Squeeze, now push your feet. Now put, squeeze everything you got. Hands, shoulders, arms, core, butt, thighs, feet. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Let it go. Whether you anybody can hear you or not, three times as loud as you can. Let's go! One, two, three. 
One, two, three. One, two, three. Let's go. I hope you all enjoyed that. Happy Monday. Have a great rest of the day, great rest of the week. Make sure to check out the coaches for the rest of the week as well. Be well.